Welcome to my channel. I am Ben, the business analyst expert. In this video, I will show you how to install the Facebook Pixel on your website. To install the Facebook Pixel, you need to go to your Facebook ad account and go to Event Manager. Then click on Connect Data Source. Then select Web, then click on Connect. Then select Facebook Pixel and click on Connect. Then click on Continue. Then enter the name of your pixel. We will use Click Funnels. Then enter your domain name. Then click on Continue. Then copy the code. Now log into your Click Funnels account. Click on Funnel, then select the funnel you are looking to add the pixel on. Then click on Settings. Paste your code in the Head Tracking Code field. Then scroll down and click on Save and Update Settings. Your pixel is now added to the website. Now you go back to your Facebook ad account and click on Continue. Then you need to turn on Automatic Advanced Matching. Then click on Continue. Then click on Continue. You're also required to verify your domain, so you need to click on Verify Domain. A new window will open. Click on Add. Enter your domain. Then click on Add. There are a few options to verify your domain. I like to use the third option. Select Update the DNS text record with your domain registrar. Then you need to copy this text record. Then you need to log in to your Namecheap account to update your DNS records. Click on Manage. Then click on Advanced DNS. Then click on Add New Record. Then select Text Record. Enter At, then paste the text record and click on Save. Go back to your Facebook ad account and then click on Verify Domain. Your domain is now verified. Click on Done. After your domain has been verified, go back to Previous Window in Event Manager. Click on Continue. Then click on Go to Pixel Overview. Here it is showing that the pixel has not received any activity. You need to refresh your browser to activate the pixel. Go on your website landing page and refresh the page. Then go back to your Facebook ad account and refresh the page. The pixel is now activated. Now you need to set up the conversion events on your website. For that you need to go to the video page. We assume that if someone lands on this page, it means they have submitted their contact information, so we're going to track this page as lead. To do that, you need to copy and paste this code in the header of your page. You need to go on Settings, select Tracking Code, and then paste the code in there. Then click on Save. Then you need to exit the page. We also need to track the purchase event. For that, we need to select the thank you page. The thank you page is where your customers will land after you have purchased your product. So you need to click on edit page. Then click on settings. Select tracking code. Then paste the code for purchase, which is different than the code for lead. You will find both codes below this video. Then you need to save the page. Now you need to go back to your ad account to set up the event priorities. Go on the Pixel page and select Aggregated Event Measurement. Then click on Configure Web Events. Select your domain. Then click on Manage Events. Then click on Edit. Click on the Add Event button. Select the Pixel and then choose the event Lead. Right now our first priority is to generate leads. Once we start to generate a few sales, we're going to change our first priority to Purchase. So for now, we're going to add Purchase as second priority. Click on the Add Event button. Select the pixel and then choose the event Purchase. Value Optimization is turned off. We will later turn that on after we generated at least 30 sales. Then you need to click on Apply. Select Yes Confirm the Changes. Then click on Apply. Your event priorities are now set up. Now you need to test that your events have been installed properly. 
For that, you need to install the Facebook Pixel Helper. Click the link below this video to access the Facebook Pixel Helper. Then click on Add to Chrome button. Then click on Add Extension. Here is the confirmation that the Pixel Helper has been added, and this icon will appear on your Chrome browser. Now we need to test our website events. Go on your landing page. Click on the Pixel Helper. You can see the Facebook Pixel Helper is automatically tracking page views on all your funnel pages. This is because we added the pixel code in the funnel settings. Now let's opt in. We land on this video page. Again, click on the Pixel Helper. You can see the Pixel Helper is tracking the lead event. Now let's go on the Thank You page. Click on the Pixel Helper. Here you can see the Pixel Helper is tracking the event purchase. This confirms that the events are tracked properly. Before we start running ads, we will need to share the Pixel with our Facebook profile and with our ad account. Here is how you do it. You need to go to your Pixel page, click on Setting. Then click on Share with an Ad Account. Then click on Add People. Select your profile. Then enable Manage Pixel. This gives you full access to the Pixel. Then click on Assign. And then click on Done. Then you need to click on Connected Assets. Click on Add Assets. Then select the Ads Accounts you want to give access to. Then click on ADD. You're now ready to create ads using that Pixel. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet, and don't forget to click the notification button. I hope you guys learned and enjoyed this video. Thank you, and have a great day.